Hello dear students welcome to your english class now we are going to begin with our english language the first topic we are going to start with is sentences so let's start it before moving ahead with sentences let us just find out what are phrases and clauses what is a phrase phrase is the group of words together but without a subject or a predicate they are the building blocks for sentences thus it acts like building blocks which helps to frame complete sentences number 2 acts as a unit which makes complete sense here it means a phrase is the small unit of a sentence which makes complete sense even if it's just a word number 3 phrases are the part of sentences and not the sentences phrases can be very short or quite long examples of phrases are after dinner waiting for the rain to stop let's take few more examples where does the sun rise in the east what does your friend likes playing cricket we can change phrases into sentences by adding words to them example sun rises in the east my friend likes playing cricket Let's find out what are clauses. Clauses are the group of words that have both subject and predicate unlike phrases. So does that mean clauses are equals to sentences? Let's find out from the following statements. A clause may or may not have the complete meaning. Whereas a sentence always have a complete meaning. It often starts with a conjunction. Here sentences always start from a capital and not from the conjunction therefore we conclude that all clauses are not sentences let's take a look at few of the examples for clauses when the man broke into the house the dog barked at him because he was a baby now let us find out what is a sentence a sentence is a set of words that makes a complete sense it conveys a clear message from the speaker to the listener it has a subject and predicate for example hyderabad is a beautiful city here hyderabad is a subject and is a beautiful city is the predicate and it also conveys a complete message a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with the full stop question mark or an exclamation mark example i am 12 years old May I have your pen? That's a beautiful building. Now that we know sentences are those which make sense, let's just rearrange the given set of words that does not make sense when we read them all together. Let's try the first one. Are seven their continents world the in? Still confused. So the answer for this one is there are seven continents in the world. Let's try another. Will ever this leave she city? Will she ever leave this city? So kids, now just tickle your brain a little and try to find out the answers for another two sets. Let's discuss the types of sentences. There are four types of sentences: declarative or assertive, exclamatory, interrogative, and imperative. Declarative sentences A declarative sentence is a sentence that makes a statement, provides a fact, offers an explanation or conveys information. For example, the room smells clean. I love my cat. Diva is not feeling well today. I will visit my aunt on Monday. Hockey is the national game of India. Declarative sentences always ends with a full stop. Exclamatory sentences Exclamatory sentences are those as sentences which expresses strong and sudden feelings or emotions. Example: What a beauty! What a great success! Such a melodious voice! How difficult the question paper is! It is so hard to crack this. Exclamatory sentences always ends with an exclamation mark. Interrogative sentences Sentences which ask questions are called interrogative sentences. They always end with a question mark. For example, did you enjoy the movie? 
Are we going to have a party? Do you have a notebook? What do you want? When do you return from Delhi? Interrogative sentences ends with a question mark. Imperative sentences Sentences which expresses a command, a request and a suggestion are called imperative sentences. For example, Please post this letter. Can you lend me 50 rupees? You must wear your seat belt. Bring the book tomorrow. Close the door. Imperative sentences may end with a question mark, a full stop or an exclamation mark. So these were the four types of sentences. Let's move ahead. Now let's discuss interjections. Interjections are the words used to express strong feelings and sudden emotions. Always remember an interjection is followed by a comma or an exclamation mark. Emotions like surprise, joy, excitement, sadness, enthusiasm can be expressed through various words. For example, ah that feels wonderful. Yes, we all are going for picnic. Wow, she will have a pet soon. Oh dear, I'm really sorry for this. Hooray, I've been selected. So children, now it's time to practice. Thank you.